Fossil fuel burning is changing the climate very, very rapidly. It's making extreme events, things like droughts and bushfires and floods and storms and coral bleaching, much more frequent and much more severe. So that means that everything that lives in an ecosystem that is subject to one of those extreme events is being affected. And that's everything. Right now there are many developments that shouldn't go ahead like coal-fired power stations and coal and gas mining and fracking that are affecting the local environment by how they're being built but also affecting the Australian environment because of the impacts of what they're doing. The Environmental Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act is the primary federal act that was designed to protect the Australian environment. If the EPBC Act was really seriously working well, it would not allow those developments to go ahead. We can see from everywhere that uh, habitats still keep getting cleared, species are going extinct, pollution is still affecting our waterways and our marine waters. The EPBC Act, if it was functioning properly, would prevent all of that happening. Given that climate change is such an important negative impact on all species and all environments, climate change has to be at the heart of how the Act works. Currently, it's not. The EPBC Act is currently under review and there's a great amount of momentum to change it to be more effective. The government has a, a once in 10 year opportunity to make it effective, to actually do what it's supposed to do, which is put climate at its centre, make it more powerful, and really actually protect the environment.